DJ Kobe FG Radio, back in this thing, late night sessions. Now this uh this next cat we got up, he actually probably don't notice, but he probably the most requested person on, that people want to hear on FG Radio. My man JC in the building. Uh, I didn't know that. I'm 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 honored. How y'all doing? Uh, yeah yeah that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah niggas want to see you on here man. See you act town. They want to hold you down. Definitely I appreciate that. Now what off top saying? off top we got to get right into this. Let's go. Chilla Jones. Oh man. This in my opinion this like niggas are saying this is a the greatest battle ever and it was debatable. Mm -hmm. What battle did you see that was debatable? Do you feel like it was debatable? I mean, I know you feel like you won, and you know you won, but... Um, I feel like it was debatable only because that battle was... Too, it had two different people with two different styles. And right, all, right. And, and neither one of us, you know what I'm saying, came weak, so... It's pretty much style preference, you But know did I mean? you see the way that nigga start sweating in the second round? I, honest to his defense, we was awesome. <laughs> like, that much, like I, we, we, we had to go outside in between every battle. Cause it was so hot in there. That place was like, it was, I can't even explain how big it was, but it was jam packed and it was like, like it was better to be in the sauna than to, than to be in that room. It was ridiculous. So it wasn't the bars that had him sweating? It was both. I ain't gonna lie. Was I was sweating too, but you know. It was like 50-50. Yeah, yeah, I had, you know, it's impact, you know what I mean? You don't, you know. Now, now, of all the battles that you had, you had you had you battled every month last year, right? Ten, yeah, ten out of the twelve months I battled last year. Now, which one of those battles do you feel like was the closest? I, Cause I, I got my opinion. Yeah, I think honestly that one was. A lot of people don't. A lot of a lot of people feel like Cannon was my closest. That's exactly battle. what I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah, a lot of people feel like um, Cannon was my closest battle. I um, to, I took that battle honestly. Uh, I like Cannon. I felt like uh, he doesn't get a lot of respect outside, outside, or not even. I ain't gonna say outside his hometown, but period. Like I don't think he get enough respect. Period. So for me, for me to, t I, it was for it was good for me to take him in his hometown. That way it'd be like you know, if I was to kill him anywhere else, they would say, yo, he only killed him because we was there. You know what I mean? Like it's so you know they don't they don't fuck with Cannon over here. Or they don't fuck with Cannon over here. Now if that same effect would have happened at the crib, I ain't got shit to say. I don't know. But they you know right. he he it's you're not going to have home crowd advantage and not use it. So I'm not going to be a nigga to be like, "Well, the battle only was close cuz he was at home." I'm not that type of nigga. I took the battle cuz he was at home. I was like, you know they they offer Cannon like that was the second time I got offer him. Right. And I took that one because, you know, I think it would have been a better look. So now, when, now speaking in that battle, uh, uh, the bars that they say you juice, I'm back, bitch. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. How do, how do you respond to shit like that? Cause like um, people try to use that against you all the time. Say you recycle shit. Well, that first of all, that is my only account of recycling. First, second, that was my very first smack battle that I did that. And when I got there, I had no clue what, what, what to expect. Like, I battled Mac Myron and got the call to go on Smack after that battle. And Mac Myron was my very first battle ever in life. So, I had no idea what I was going into. I didn't know what I was walking into. I had bars. Like, I watched that shit today. It's so mediocre. I'm like, man, damn, I can't even believe I let this what, shit. What, the Mac Myron battle? Nah, the battle on Smack when I when I re recited that. Or when right. I, cause, so, I went in there without a third round. And um, I, I spit everything I had for my third and pretty much went blank. And I'm like, shit, I'm not a great freestyler. So the first rhyme that popped in my head came out. I was like, boom, oh, I'm back, bitch. Boom, let that shit go. And I mean, even them, like when, when I was rapping it, they knew I was spitting that shit. Right. But I'm like, shit. So when, when, it, when, it, when the cat was out the bag and they knew I was doing it, I'm like, fuck it, round over. I was already up 2-1 anyway, and so I was like, fuck, it. Said, but fuck it. I didn't know what to expect going into the smack. The first, like, it didn't click that I was on smack until like five minutes before the cameras rolled. So I didn't know what the fuck to expect. Right. Now, you say you don't, you're not real good at freestyling. Like, you be saying the funniest shit is like rebuttals, though. Like, niggas don't fuck with you because you get your eyebrows arched. Like, yeah, <laughs> um, well... The, the technique to that type of shit is to know your rounds well enough to be able to say some goofy shit and still jump back into, you know what I mean, what you say. Like, um, when, when, I met, when I met him, we was in St. Louis, when he bought the jewelry, and I said he bought the jewelry from the same place. Where, and and I, he, he just so, I didn't write that, he just so happened to walk in with that jewelry on, and I'm like, 
I'm like, dog. I went over to to Nestle, and I'm like, yo, he he bought that shit from from Verve old job when we was in St. Louis, and he's like, I know you're gonna say that. I'm like, yeah, honestly, I ain't got no choice. And we was in there like ten hours before we battled, so I had plenty of time to say, think of some one or two bars to throw at him. But if you know your shit well enough, you can say some goofy ass shit. Like I was the first time I noticed his eyebrows too, and I'm like, like this nigga shit is defined as hell. Like I know. <laughs> this shit ain't grow like that. I know goddamn well. So I'm like, all right, yo, niggas don't fuck with you because you get your eyebrow. Like, I, j it just hit me. I just noticed that the eyebrows is definitely was holding you back. So you might as well let them bitches cross. He probably they probably connect and he just get that bitch waxed often. So I don't know, but <laughs> I fuck with the homie, the homeboy. Okay, okay. So Bird really worked at that jewelry shop, um, the kiosk. Yeah, because a lot of niggas say that yeah, shit. It's not just some no, shit that JC said. I have no actual proof that he did work there. Marv Wan um, brought it up in the back. Yeah, it, when we were there, um, now the people that told me didn't, don't like Verb that much, okay. but they confirmed it when we was at the mall. Okay. It was like, yeah, this is where Verb worked. And I'm and I'm said, I just laugh. <laughs> and they got like the most serious face. they like, I'm dead serious. I'm like, because like, so that was true. Like, I mean, Marv Wan gave the number out in the battle so I mean a lot of niggas don't really go that far if the shit ain't you know legit so I mean because it's like an interview on YouTube of Verb calling up a radio station uh -huh. and they call the place and they say he never worked there like I said I, I have no actual proof and the niggas like cuz I, I fuck with Verb heavy and yeah, I ain't knocking no nigga with a nine to five. Right, right. But it's one thing to deny info that a nigga say he got, and then the nigga turn around and you know find out the shit true. Like I've heard plenty of niggas say you work at such and such, and the nigga will start his next round off with I do work at such and such, nigga. I, right. You know I need to work. Right. So I ain't gonna knock it. But like I said, it's when we was there, the nigga was like, I am dead serious. This is the place. We was at the mall. It was it's called St. Louis Mills Mall. Right. And we was at the mall. <laughs> And and it just so happened he liked them look them little chains and earrings and they was like oh yeah you know this where Verb used to work and I'm like ha 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 like no nigga we're serious I'm like oh shit. now you say you uh fuck with Verb but uh in that young ear battle you was throwing a lot of shots Verb with had to man I had simple fact I mean the the reason is like Verb. Hitman and ill is a unit. Everybody know that you know what I mean that's a unit. So right. you you pretty much gotta take shots at the, like when Hitman battled John John, he pretty much called out the entire proven ground class that me and John John was in. So it was like you know when you battle him, if you're gonna send a shot, nigga, you came from the proven ground or some goofy shit like that, you gon' you gonna say you came from the proven ground, you can't fuck with me from the pro he can't, he can't, none of you proven ground niggas can like you you pretty much gonna do that. So if I you know, my, my whole approach was, you know, well you know what? I think you niggas is overrated. Here's why. And that was you know that I mean I fuck like I said, I fuck with Verb, Verb, cool, hitman cool, they all cool peoples. But that's definitely um an angle you gotta take. When you when you battle a nigga, you have to take shots at they camp. Like I have no Actual personal info on Young Ill at all. I don't. You can't look at me and be like, "Yo, it's Young Ill a bitch," and he's like, "I have no clue." So, you know, if you gonna run out of shit to say, you gotta attack the nigga that's right, with him right. and the nigga that's with him. Would you ever battle one of them? Absolutely, absolutely. Me and Hitman was actually set up to go for a round. What happened with that? Um, just one <clears> round. <throat> that's why we didn't do it because yeah. it was only one round. He only had enough time for one round. Um, they didn't want to fund a one round battle with me and Hitman. I don't blame him. I didn't. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't you know, see that I'd have did, three it. I'd have did it, but that's not what I'd have preferred. If they'd have asked me, do you want this or do you want three, I'd have been like, give me three. You know what I mean? So, um, we would, you know, he asked me if I wanted to do it, and it was either me or um, Clean. And uh, John, I guess, you know, he had called me one day and was like, yo, John, John, you know, I called him like, you, you going to take John, John? He was like, yo, he, he kind of getting under my skin right now. And he's like, I'm just, I'm getting like real mad. I got to set him straight, so. You know, he ended up going with John John, but yeah. We, How do they go about picking the battles? Is it like, okay, JC say you want to battle this guy. This guy has a chance to say yes or no. Or do they actually set up the battles? Um, yeah, no, the battles definitely are set up. We do get the call though, um, accept the decline pretty much. Uh, but they they pretty much do it off demand, um, views, style. I think different styles make the best battles. Like they right. make the best battles because there's if y'all both on y'all A game, there's no clear winner, and those are the battles that you have to watch over and over to get the right. views. Like me and Chilla, when we both did our battle, we don't have like our name isn't Verb or Hitman. It's not that big, exactly. so you know 
our battle's at like 600,000 right now. And we're two new niggas, so that battle came off of something you just had to keep watching. Like, every time I watch it, I, I pick JC, and then I watch it again, and I pick Chilla, and then I watch it again, and I got J. So, I think it's different styles. But That's how I feel about that uh, fucking Calico and goddamn... Lux? Yeah, Lux battle. Every yeah. time I watch it, I got a new winner. Yeah, I think... um. That battle, that battle will go down. That battle definitely go down in history. Yeah. It did a million in like four yeah. days. Like that battle had, honestly, it had everything a battle needed. It had the the gimmicks. Mm -hmm. It had the the personal shit. It had the the emotion. A lot of niggas said he got too personal. I don't think he got too personal. You see, that's this that's is when the, the battle turned though. This is the problem with niggas in battle rap. We are lyrically disrespecting each other. Yeah. You That's have the whole to, idea. Like you cannot walk in it with cotton skin. Like it's not gonna work. You're gonna do it, you're gonna say some shit. And somebody like there's lines though, my, my pops died yesterday. We battle next month. Keep him out, we straight. Okay, cool. That shit's gonna that shit might anybody who close to their uh, they mom or their pops, that right. shit might touch anybody. Yeah. But I mean you walking into a battle where the dis the most disrespectful shit will win. You know everything is a target. Nigga, I done, I done booked a battle with a nigga, and three days later, I get a Facebook request from him. Oh, I know what he trying to do now. Deny. I know what you trying to do. You trying to go through my hand and JC this, JC. Nah, we're not going to do all that. So, um, I don't I don't get too personal, but I I don't let the personal shit get to me. So, I mean, you got to you gotta expect that. Like, you getting on the court. Just basketball. You, you playing a nigga that you know. Can't beat you. You gonna talk. You gonna talk all your shit. Especially if you a nigga. You battling or, or, or uh, hooping against a nigga that you that's weak. You know you can get under his skin. Right. You gonna talk shit. He gonna throw up bullshit ass jump shots and you gonna turn it into a one on one and you know he can't hoop. So he finna cost the game for his team. All over emotion uh -huh. and 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 emotion in a battle makes niggas look bad. That's that's. Every time I watch the battle, I be like, man, Lux won because at, when he be like, yo, father wasn't no gangster. Look at me, King. Yeah. You could see that nigga Calico, like his whole his yeah. whole shit was fucked up from but, then on. And that's why I say Lux won. But I then feel, if you go bar for bar, like Calico had shit. Yeah, all yeah. three rounds. Yeah, Cal had some shit. I felt that you saw Calico get mad when um my man's and Lux camp was saying something to him, like yeah. respect him. That's when you saw the emotion of Calico really come out. Right. Cause the second round was shaky. Like, cause he was fucking up at the end. So I thought that's when Calico really got mad. He was like, You niggas brought Cassius on stage and all that right. shit. And see and that and that kind of showed me that he 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 had Cal sold from the beginning, like yeah. for for him to walk in and, and but see that's that's a perfect strategy on on Lux's behalf. You walk in with an obituary with a dude name on it. If that is enough to turn you, then all right, I got this battle won. Because if you you don't like this, your face on this picture, you finna hate my third round. So right, you know, yeah. I mean, do you think it was planned like that though? Because I I kind of feel like that first round, I feel like he didn't choke. I feel like he just stopped right there, and then that's that was his first run. I think I think he choked only because um, the 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 difference of what he did versus what he had to do this time. Like when he battled his last battle was against Young Miles, and he was just able to rap. You know, I don't think I don't know if it was three minutes or not, but he was able to rap his time straight, no stopping, no nothing. And when he battled Cal, he damn near got a standing ovation for like every four bars. Right. So you got, you know, it's some of that, like a lot of times, like me, I'm going to go boom, 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 next line, and, I, boom, and then y'all cut me off. That could actually throw your train of thought off. Like, I've seen it happen plenty of times. Like, yeah, man, when them niggas did that shit, man, I just totally forgot where I was. So I could understand him choking. I kind of, like, I honestly think he really choked for real. But, like, he, he said, he said, you know, it's... It's best for for people to wonder if he ch the nigga choke. He choked. Yeah. I mean, he picked it up. I think he picked it up well, to be yeah. honest with you. Cause yeah. like niggas don't even bring it up when they talk about. I it. feel like if he would have wrapped that whole shit like the way he say that was the, his the rest of his first verse. That first verse yeah, would have been a motherfucker. That was yeah. crazy. That was, the, the and then the second shit? verse he put out like when he put he did another release of the second verse. It was like this but the second first. verse was kind of weak when you look at the video and then because because it don't have the same emotion in it. Right, but you never you never gonna get that out the battle. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, you so can you rap can't really your shit over the phone to me, and I'll be like, yeah, he gonna kill him with that. But then you get on stage and and, and, and the shit come don't up, hit like that. You know, it could take everything from you. That's I mean that's what me and that's the same effect me and Ill battle had. You know, we had 
wrote for maybe two, three thousand people we were supposed to perform in front of. And because of all the controversy, we ended up rapping in front of maybe 150, 200 people. Half of them was battle rappers. Other half was media outlets, press and all that shit. So those, they don't know what they're listening to. The battle rapper's not finna go crazy over another battle rapper bars because you, you know. Do that fuck with you though? Like when you know you just said some cold shit and niggas ain't get it, they not gonna get it until they watch the video um, the third time? No, I actually, sometimes I'll write for that. Like I'll write some shit and I'll be like, you know what? This line is not gonna, they not gonna get this until I come, until they come back. Like when I, I told, I told Ill, I said, um, they like, I said, I said, Hitman and Verb like Shine and Gorilla Black writing because they talk big but don't rap like it. And I kept, Niggas I just kept going, it. but they didn't, because I'm like, they're not going to get that. I'm trying to do all this, and like, they're not going to get that. That's something they're going to have to come back and catch. It's people who listen, and they, gears is turning the whole time. They catching everything. Then there's other people who's just like, and then you hear the person next to you And they say some simple shit, and they yeah. like, oh, oh, that nigga. <laughs> right, right. Shut the fuck up, boy. <laughs> he walking like a walker. Did you hear it? He said, walking like a walk. Like, that was whack. What the fuck is you tripping for? But it's a lot of they, a lot of people train to to respond to certain shit. Like they have to hear the setup format for a punchline. Do you feel like be, like somebody animated like Bill Collector? Like do you feel like your stage presence is do it feel like it sell the bars more? Absolutely. Um, Cause you move a lot with your hands and that shit it make yeah, you pay attention. To I got yeah. I kind of like because like when I did the um when I when I did the. Gorilla Black Line. I said talk big and the whole and I did big like this. So I was trying to throw Biggie like Biggie. I was trying to throw that at you so you can get what I mean instantly without me, you know, without having to go back over it. But I think um I think you have to sell your bars visually. You know what I mean? Like if you if you watching a battle rapper on mute and he got both his hands behind his back and he just going like this, you're not gonna want to unmute the shit. You're like he ain't saying shit. You can tell he ain't saying shit. Like Lux, I don't really think. I mean, I think he didn't he didn't really deliver as a as an energetic battle rapper fan want to see, but right. he had the whole preacher character going. He yeah, delivered like that you believe that he was a preacher he in that, that moment. Per- so I mean, that was perfect. But I mean, it's a lot of people think that jumping all over the stage and doing a build collector type routine is exactly what you need to see to feel like a nigga delivering his bars, and it's not. Bill Collector's the only nigga that can do the shit the way he do it. Cause That's now, the same shit. yeah, and if anybody else doing it, yeah. you're trying to be like Bill Collector. You're not trying to sell your bars. You're trying to you're trying to be like Bill Collector. So it's it's I, I mean, it's a lot of niggas who rap and don't and don't really. Jilly Jones, you don't really. He don't really gotta sell his bars. He make you think so much that you don't really care what he look like right rapping no more. It's like hold on. You might even close your eyes, like, okay, he said, walking, hold on, what the fuck is he talking about? Niggas just listening, like, Chilla John, who else? I mean. All right, I brought up Bill Collector, because that's who I want to see you battle. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> that's okay. who we want to see you battle, because he's so much different than you. Like, you attack niggas. You yeah. attack niggas. This nigga, he joking around the whole time, but he, sometimes he be saying some shit at the same time. I want to see you battle that nigga. Yeah, I, 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 that I, probably, I, I probably would have, <laughs> I probably would have earlier. Um, now I kind of feel like if I battle anybody else from my proven ground class, that it's not I'm not inclined. Like everybody just sit right. here and I battle John John B Magic Bill Collector Rosenberg Raw QP. I'm that still Rosenberg. Here, you know what I mean, I'm still I didn't, here. That here, Rosenberg here. battle, I didn't believe Rosenberg because his hands. I hear that a lot. Because his hands. I, I mean, it made me not believe shit he was saying. If the he, funniest thing about his hands, like. If you if you watch his hands and look at the way he say he cocking his gun, he grab it from the bottom and do like that, like this though, like so he got a pistol in his hand, but he cocking it like I don't know what kind of gun do that. Then he got you know he, he <laughs> talk about he throwing jabs and his like his arms are like maybe seven inches long, so it's like you not finna hit no, you might throw, but you not finna hit nobody. So it's it's funny though I think, but the, the thing about Rosenberg, I think a lot of people misconceive Rosenberg rocks. I think the dude is nice. I think the dude is super nice, but he didn't like, just like QP, a lot of people don't want to see QP no more. QP super nice. You can do so much to fuck yourself up that you just, the, man, the demand for you is gone. Like, I feel Verb is doing that right now. A lot of people, I've heard that. Like, a lot, I, I heard, is Verb, has Verb passed his prime? I've actually heard that question on them little uh, Facebook groups. Mm-hmm. I don't think so, though. Um, I think, I think what Verb do, honestly, 
is he worried too much about everything else going into a battle versus other than the person he battled. Because if you if you watch when he battled Miles, he battled Miles in St. Louis. He battled Hitman in St. Louis. He battled Hollow the Don in St. Louis. And those are his three best performances ever. Like, I don't see nobody touching, like, he, nobody could beat those verbs. So, but when you when you battle in, you battle Charlie Clips, you have to worry about the crowd. He was coming back. He's from Harlem. We're in Harlem. It's working to your disadvantage. So you want to, you know what I mean? Then you got T-Rex. T-Rex is from Harlem. We're in Harlem. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a lot of other shit to worry about going right. into that battle. But, I mean, it's at the same time, it comes with the territory. You're accepting that battle versus a nigga at home that you already know has the crowd on his side calico and lux lux is from harlem lux hasn't battled in six years he's one of arguably the best battle rappers ever you have a lot going against you other than the nigga that's in front of you so i mean i you don't you don't put yourself in that position if you're not ready for it now early when they first start putting you on the battles or whatever it said detroit on there and now it says Pontiac, you made sure they got that shit straight. Hey, absolutely, absolutely. I've been introduced a couple of times as Detroit. And I'm like, no, 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 Pontiac, Pontiac. It's like, my bad, my bad, Pontiac. What it is, um, the co-sign I got to get on Smack came from Midwest Miles. And he, you know, he a legend, battle rap legend out of Detroit. So, right. so know, they just assumed you was from yeah, Detroit, assumed too. I was from Detroit. And, you know, it took a, it took a minute, but, you know. Uh, we make sure we got that. We be turned up. We look at that shit and that shit say Pontiac, yeah, and then we see that shit got hundreds of thousands of views absolutely. and shit. Absolutely, we like had a nigga on our own doing that shit. It's nothing against Detroit, but we pretty much ain't got shit. You shit. know what I mean? So we need all the credit and shine and everything we can get. So if a Pontiac nigga gets on any type of stage anywhere, and we get six hundred thousand views. Those six hundred thousand views need to come back to Pontiac. You know what I right. mean? And I mean, and he get all of the all the uh, you know, I give Miles all the all the credit in the world because he saw my battle and called in in and inboxed me the next morning and was like, I got a battle for you, and that was a smack battle. So I'm like, damn, I don't know if I'm ready, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go. So it was, you know, it was definitely the right thing to do. I felt like it was, you know, but at the same time, I'm not finna, you know not give Pontiac the credit because that's that's where I'm from the you know what I mean the battle the battle that put me on was in Pontiac from Pontiac right. like I'm not finna you know Detroit you know they they definitely gave me the light to put me on the scene but it started here so that's where it's you know that's what's gonna come back to true now you got a mixtape of uh, album or something working Man. on okay well or are we just battling yeah well I, I don't just battle I did music way before battling but the, the battling is like so big now like I met so many celebrities talk so many celebrities just off battle rap so um, I try to take advantage of it being last year was, I mean last year was my first year in battle rap I took as many battles as I could I wanted to grind get my name up make sure people knew that the battles that they saw that gave me my name wasn't the fluke so I battled every month it was it was hard but the hard part about it is writing so you know I, I had no time to you know hop off the you know battle mode and go do a couple tracks then jump back into a battle because i was you know doing a battle with another battle book so once i got off the plane i had to get right back to the notebook and get some more shit for the i didn't have no you know what i mean throwaway bars and all that everything i wrote for a person was for him i wrote it when i had him booked and it was for him so only before the summer we've been we've been in a studio i ain't battled all year it's, it's march it's already march and I've been doing crazy recording. I wanted to have something to take down to Texas for my next battle, but um, it don't look like we're gonna meet it because you know the opponent locked in already. So we're doing the writing for that, but um, we definitely gonna have something before the summertime because music that was my first love. So I gotta um, plus I gotta take advantage of the buzz while I got it. So yeah, you know can't let that die down. Hell yeah! Now you got some bars for us today. Can we get some? Oh, Little definitely, song. definitely. We we do a cappella. We do it. It's, it's up to you. You want to be? I got to be. Yeah, we do the beat. We do a beat. All right, we gonna love this beat up. We gonna get back to it. We gonna be right back. FG Radio. Yeah.